welcome back for another video. It's time for the Gaming 15 Experts video. This series consists of hundreds of participants, including a bunch of top all-time managers and content creators. Every week we reveal the Experts team before the deadline, plus look at their transfer plans, captaincy and more. This Experts data will guide you to better decisions, so if you'd like to improve your rank and get help winning your mini leagues, hit subscribe. Let's jump in. So the top expert heading into game week 15 is Eric Basie, who's on top after scoring a whopping 80 points last game week. His total points now 889. His rank history includes 3 top 10k finishes and a further 7 top 100k finishes. Some razor sharp transfers by Eric recently, bringing in White, Saka and Trossard, who have all immediately returned after. So let's have a look at the expert's transfer activity for game week 15. After a lot of rolled transfers last game week, nearly all the experts are spending theirs. Just 2% are rolling the transfer, 60% are making one transfer, 35% are making two, and 2% are making three. One expert's making four transfers. All the experts that are making three transfers are on a minus eight here, as is the manager who's making four transfers. Rather bold, with just two game weeks for it to be repaid. As far as which players the experts are transferring in and out, it's Wilson comfortably top. 41% of the experts making a transfer are getting Wilson. He may well have played himself into Southgate's England squad even, with the form he's shown recently. 19 points in Gaming 14 from 2 goals and 2 assists, and he's now on 9 returns in 9 games this season. With Tony the most sold following the suspension, Wilson is the obvious replacement, and he does face Southampton. Rashford is the second top transfer who's certainly done enough for an England spot too, and he scored the winner last game week against West Ham. Man United's final two games before the World Cup are Aston Villa and then Fulham. If we get any early news that Foden is benched again, then Rashford is a great pick, as is Trossard and Bowen, who some experts have picked up as well. It's certainly going to be a game week dictated by early news, for better or worse. Still question marks over Foden's chances of starting, and whether Haaland will be involved. Haaland was spotted training with the team on Thursday, so there is hope and he's worth keeping at this point unless we get news that he's not with the squad on Saturday. That said, 150,000 managers have already sold him since the deadline, which is a pretty wild move to make at this point. Foden played 90 minutes in the Champions League while Grealish was withdrawn at half time. Pep citing that the sub was because he needed Grealish next match. You never know of Pep though. De Bruyne was rested midweek in that Champions League fixture, coming on just at the end of the match, and he still managed to pick up an assist three minutes later. If Haaland is out, then he's the stand up captain. A few managers have sold Salah, and perhaps making that switch to De Bruyne this week. It's just two game weeks to go before the entire game is essentially reset with unlimited transfers, so it is an opportunity to take a punt if you wish. Alvarez is certainly in that territory. A goal and two assists in the Champions League. It is a question mark whether he plays the Fulham game or not, but again if we get early news that he does start then he's not a bad punt at all. A couple of the experts are picking him up. Saka has returned to training and he's available for the Chelsea match too, nonetheless 8% have sold him. We'll skip the chip usage update this week as there's no chips active and essentially all the wildcards are already used up, just a single expert hasn't used their wildcard yet. So next up is the Experts Captaincy, correct as of the 4th of November, and certainly it's a week where Captaincy could be an evolving situation as it was last game week. Man City are home to Fulham, which is undoubtedly the fixture of the game week for Captaincy, and Haaland has 89% of the vote. So Haaland was seen back in training and we anticipate confirmation that he's also available to play against Fulham. If that isn't the case, then there's a number of ways to go. 5% have De Bruyne captain already, 3% Cancelo and 3% Salah as well. If you missed the Gaming 15 preview video, as always it covered the top goalscorer odds and top projected points for Gaming 15, which is a particularly useful one this week in case Haaland is out. There is a debate to be had on the leaks and the edge that they do give to some managers. We've had some key information leaked in recent gaming, such as the likes of Trent Nunez, Foden and Haaland missing out. It's information that you absolutely act on if it comes out and it's reliable, but it is an unfair edge on those that don't get the ill information. And likewise, it's unfair on those in time zones where it's the middle of the night during the deadline. Nonetheless, in case we do get early news, it's sensible to put a few plans together in advance based on possible outcomes that may affect you. For example, if you own Foden and Haaland, then make a plan for if each misses out, or even if both miss out. I've even seen a few flowchart diagrams that managers have made based on possible outcomes. I haven't gone to this length myself, but it's much better to have a plan than panicking last minute without time to work decisions properly. Before we look at the experts team, do drop this video a like and subscribe if it has been useful. So we're on to the experts team reveal, and this is the aggregated team of their highest owned players, and the team is as follows. It's Pope in goal, a back three of Cancelo, Trippier and Dunk. In midfield is Salah, Martinelli, Foden and Saka, and the front three is Mitrovic, Haaland, Captain and Wilson. 
Tony leaves the team and Wilson the one replacing him up top. Saka also joins the team in place of Zaha and Dunk joins in place of Doherty. It's an awkward game week with Tottenham against Liverpool and Chelsea against Arsenal but it is unavoidable in our teams and we're all affected one way or another so don't overthink it if the fixtures concern you. Interestingly after game week 14 Haaland is no longer the most owned player with 95% ownership to Trippi's 96%. This could drop even lower if he is out for game week 15. Kessel is the only other player of 90% or more ownership among all the experts. As always, each game week we ask the experts to offer their insight and tips for the game week ahead. It's always invaluable to get a widespread of insight and experts thinking. Psycho FPL says it's all about the City lineup this week. Does Haaland star? Does Foden star? Hold your transfers until shortly before the deadline. FPL SMR says initial plan of Salah to KDB is in the bin now with Tony suspended. Question is, do I still make the move for a minus four? Probably not. Amunpal says, I cannot afford Mitrovic to Wilson, otherwise I'd do it. I don't think any move is worth a points hit with only two weeks left for them to be paid off. Hot Knights United is on the fence about hits as well. He says, if you take hits, there's effectively only two weeks for them to be paid off until we'll have another wild card. So think wisely if it makes sense to take a minus four or a minus eight at this stage. Meanwhile, Jesus Juggernauts is on a minus eight and he says, Spurs will sit very deep against Liverpool and aim to hit them on the counter. For this reason, I prefer Nunez to Salah this week and I'm making that switch to accommodate Bowen and Rashford coming in as well. It seems risky to take a minus eight where not many managers are taking his, but this way I won't need to play Bailey and Perisic in my starting 11 who both have tough fixtures. Also, Harlan will play. Ben Coleman says it's another difficult week to plan with a lack of clarity over Harlan's fitness. Looking at the fixtures, I definitely want to captain a Man City player. I'll be waiting until just before the deadline to make my transfer to see if we get some team news. We can only hope the FPL website doesn't crash again with 5 minutes to go. FPL Red Eagle says, really tough season, I'm struggling since the beginning. Looking forward to the break to try and turn it over for me. And lastly, FPL Sutton United says, keep calm and enjoy. That concludes episode 15 of The Experts. If you found it useful, please like the video and subscribe for weekly content to come all season. We'll be live 90 minutes before the deadline for a live stream and any early news or leaks that we get will be covered so you don't want to miss that.